Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your Singles of Love reading for Virgo. How are you guys? Hope you're doing well. Oops. I have the Magician card and the Love card. So this is about manifesting love. Who's manifesting you, vice versa. It's also about having all the tools you need. Everything, everything you need to manifest that love, that one. It's definitely a bond, a connection. We shall see. Virgo. Here we go. Keeping an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And flirting. Extending light-hearted energy. Nice. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about manifesting love manifesting the one oops there's two cards there love yourself first and healing family issues okay so this is about having all the tools you need right there before you manifest okay so if you have anything you need to heal learning to love yourself first you have any healing uh, that you need to do it's basically saying it you know doing it doing that first so you have what you need to manifest the things that you need very nice energy. It's about self-respect. Nice. Could be revolving around this person as well. So just make sure you are healed, okay? This is about forgiving yourself, forgiving family members. Uh, it's also about communication, extending things, keeping things kind of light as well. But I feel like there is a light energy here. It's about keeping an open mind and healing uh, to do with this soulmate connection. All right, Virgo, this is you, someone else, or maybe even both of you. Virgo, what does Virgo need to know about manifesting this love? Who's manifesting you, vice versa? Virgo, clear messages and guidance, please, for Virgo. Here we go. We have three of cups, friends, family, your community. You may have a few people around you. You may be healing something uh, with family. Maybe your family or friends are helping you, <laughs> telling you to keep an open mind, to heal, to release something. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. It's about investing, being patient. Some of you are moving towards, some of you may have people kind of chasing you, maybe because you're successful, but it's telling you to be patient here, okay, before investing, making sure people are invested in you for the right reason. Some of you may have a couple people around you. You may be weighing the pros and the cons of comparing somebody with someone else. Uh, there's this inability to kind of make a decision here. Uh, it's about something being a little off balance, something that isn't right. You may have someone who's not right for you and someone who is. Yeah, there you are, King of Pentacles. Definitely focused on the future. Uh, there's definitely love here. Yeah, something very physical. It's about chemistry. It's about a bond between two people. Nice energy. Very nice. Very creative. You can see we have art back here. You both could be very creative people. Uh, very physically attracted to each other. Uh, you may have... This is where you're... you're manifesting the one okay this is love this is that bond that special bond where there's something building but i feel there is this energy of being patient with this flirty energy uh, making sure people are invested in you for the right reasons it's about respect respecting yourself making sure someone respects you by valuing yourself very nice there we go there we go yeah this is about not rushing into anything so I do feel like there is some form of rejection here. There's something that isn't good enough. You may have someone who's not good enough for you or they're just not right or they just don't fit in with your friends or your family. I feel like that maybe that's important for you. Uh, you may have had someone who's rushed in and out. There's an energy of, you know, rushing in towards that physical connection. It's about um, unable to make a decision, comparing two people. You may be comparing someone to someone else or vice versa, but I feel as though you're very focused on your money, your finances, your financial stability. There may be something here with a father as well, with this healing family. Uh, I feel this is an energy of being very grounded, very practical, looking at the details, being quite 
meticulous. You want the one, you want that special person. So I feel it's telling you not to rush into anything. If you're unable to make a decision, don't rush into anything. Don't rush towards that physical. Be more patient, making sure people are invested in the right reasons. You may have friends telling you this. <laughs> so interesting. Yeah, it's also about comparing, you know, weighing the pros and the cons, comparing two people. Making sure somebody isn't juggling, that they're just rushing in and out between two different people, seeing other people as well. Because you have someone here that's not right. Okay, there's someone, something that's not good enough. Some of you are kind of getting bored too. I feel like you have a lot of people who rush towards you. Uh, you're maybe getting bored, maybe bored of dating, you know, seeing other people. You want the one. Uh, maybe you're learning patience. You where know, somebody around you is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I see Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, it's generally a Sag energy here. Let's see what this keep an open mind is. Your soulmate may differ. Okay, yeah. Uh, so there is a lack of clarity here. This could be yourself or someone else isn't sure. Someone's kind of holding back. Uh, they're look, shining a light upon a situation. Someone's holding back something. They're clearing something out. They're trying to gain some clarity and insight to do with the communication. Someone may have been a little bit flirty. <laughs> they may have been holding back something. Not always telling the truth. It doesn't always mean it's a lie. It's sometimes someone who just doesn't tell you everything. Maybe they're not clear. Maybe this is yourself. You're not sure. Tell me about flirt. Yeah, so we have someone very fiery, very passionate. Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe even a Scorpio energy. So someone is focused on that wand. They're focused on what they want, a little bit controlling. There's a need to shine a light. There's someone here who kind of is a bit controlling. They kind of want what they want. And I feel as though... There's something here to do with this could be yourself shining a light on the situation, looking for more clarity, trying to keep an open mind. Love yourself first. Somebody may have wanted an open relationship, but I feel there's uh, this energy. I feel it. So this focus on this, this lack of clarity. Uh, maybe you're not sure what you want. Maybe you haven't figured out what you want. You're comparing a couple people you may be dating. Your friends may be telling you to just be patient, all right? Don't invest in anyone who's juggling. Uh, don't invest in anybody until you make up your mind about who you want, what you want. Loving yourself first. Yeah, so someone's definitely... Uh, feeling stuck, protecting themselves, kind of holding back. Maybe there's a little need to, um, someone's protecting their money. We have a person here who could be an entrepreneur, very much in protective mode. Uh, someone's very focused on self here. But I feel because of the direction it's pointed, we have someone who hasn't figured out what they want. They're not sure, so they're holding back, protecting themselves, just feeling kind of stuck. Maybe even getting a little bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking at all the details. Um, some of you want a keeper. You want somebody who's just right uh, for you as well. So that's looking at all the details and just holding back. There's a need to heal something. There may be something you're holding on to you need to let go of uh, as well. Or there's a person who's like that. But I feel there's someone who sees you as a keeper here. Uh, healing family issues, yeah, leaving something in the past, taking the lessons learned. It's about communication, traveling, and tr a transition. Something is transitioning. Some of you are coming, becoming unstuck or you have someone else's. Someone's holding on to something they need to let go of. And I feel like what it, whatever it is, it's someone who kind of... That they kind of know what they want, but they're not sure. Okay, that's what I feel. They're not so sure. Don't want to rush into anything too quick. Okay, uh, they may rush right back out again. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is this here? There we are, yeah. There's safety, security, stability, uh, somebody reliable, somebody who fits in with friends and family, someone that can be counted on. Your friends may be telling you this. You know, find that person who has your back, someone you can count on. Don't invest in anyone who's juggling. Okay, because some of you, there's this protecting your money, protecting yourself. You may have a lot of people chasing after you because you have money. 
Okay, this King of Pentacles energy or someone is seeing you that way. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. We have an entrepreneur or someone who works very hard, uh, holding on to their money, saving something. Maybe this is something that you uh, learned when you were young or the other person. So tell me about Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah. So there's a, definitely a need for waiting for the right opportunity. Opportunity for a fresh new start. There's that cup of love. Investing in somebody who communicates. I feel there's an energy of somebody who wants to communicate. They're going, they're leaving something behind. Something they were very focused on that was keeping them stuck. And it has to do with friends and family, maybe inheritance, a legacy. Uh, it's just about reliability, feeling two people comfortable with each other, two people building a legacy. Uh, you know, family, friends. Something to do with community. Tell me about two of pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, so there is definitely some kind of clarity, some kind of new beginning. Some of you are ready to start something new or you have someone who wants to start something with you. I see a little Leo energy. There's something becoming very clear because someone was holding back. They're learning something. Uh, it's you or them. Taking the things, the lessons that are learned and moving forward, leaving something behind. It could be family issues. Some of you could be relocating, moving to a new home, uh, maybe meeting new friends who are more reliable, friends who have your back. Some of you have some friends, family who have your back. And I feel like there's some kind of communication here. It's very positive. There's some kind of communication, some kind of news um, coming towards you. I feel like there's this cup of love, this new beginning, this new person. Uh, they could be a, a another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, uh, somebody financially stable, reliable. Some This is a person who sometimes spends their whole life uh, becoming financially stable, making sure they have the bank account, the house and home before they actually start something. But I feel there's an energy of um, not being sure. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Somebody very meticulous. Yeah, somebody who's a manifester. Could be a Gemini, Gemini Taurus Cusp, Capricorn. Yeah, this is about manifesting new, manifesting that clarity, uh, something very positive. So you're manifesting something. It could be money. It could be love. It looks like both. Uh, I feel like you're looking for someone who's also a manifester. You have all the tools you need. You have everything you need, okay, financially, uh, intellectually. I feel like you've got all the elements, earth, air, wind, and fire, <laughs> or earth, air, uh, fire, and water. Pardon me. I call them different things sometimes. Tell me about the lover's card. Some of you have a choice. In love, making a choice, the one, ready for a fresh new start, ready to invest. You want to make sure everything's out in the open, everything is clear before you make a decision. And that's what I feel. Before you start something, you're not going to rush into anything. And I feel like the person around you has some of this energy as well. Yeah. So we have an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. We have the King and Queen of Cups. Two people very creative, very attractive, very charming. Uh, I feel like you have a person here, somebody who knows what they want. They're not going to settle. Uh, it's definitely there will be a rejection if somebody rushes, somebody tries to push. But there is a sense of enthusiasm. Somebody might be have lost sort of some enthusiasm because of something here. Because um, I feel there's this energy of somebody rushing in. There's going to be some kind of rejection or someone's just not sure. Some of you are just getting bored. <laughs> you want to start something, but I feel there's this energy of this uh, manifesting money, finances, having everything that you need before you make a decision. Or it's this person coming towards you. They may see you as the queen of rods. You know, somebody who builds them up. This is there's definitely some kind of chemistry, a physical attraction. Uh, hard working, creative, very focused, someone who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. Yeah, an emperor energy, someone with very strong boundaries when it comes to a physical connection. So there's a cycle ending uh, and a new cycle beginning. This is someone who knows exactly what they want. They know how to get it. Very logical, very hard working, uh, very strong boundaries. 
somebody who doesn't settle. It's you or this other person, okay? I feel like you have some common um, energies, definitely for sure, because I'm seeing the King and Queen of Rods. <laughs> so it all depends on who you are in this reading. Uh, I feel like you both have that uh, energy. Of, you know, it's all, somebody here doesn't know what they want. They're holding back. They're stuck, but they're not letting go. Someone's holding on to something they need to move away from. They need to learn something, taking some lessons learned about safety, security, stability, uh, financial stability. There's somebody here who knows what they want. They have that emperor energy, definitely a strong Aries or maybe Scorpio energy. There's definitely some Gemini energy here as well. Someone may have a choice between you and another person or it's yourself. They may maybe weigh in the pros and the cons before starting something. Everything needs to be illuminated. There's going to be some clarity here. So it's interesting. I feel like this is something that could go in your favor. Yeah, there's something emotionally fill, fulfilling here. Someone knows what they want. They want to be emotionally fulfilled and happy. Uh, someone has that wheel of fortune energy. Uh, this is someone who's not afraid to go after what they want. That wheel of fortune, emotional fulfillment. This is about the future. Wow, creative energy, physical attraction. Yeah, so someone's, uh, yeah, we got somebody here with some very strong boundaries about somebody who rushes in and out. They may have other options, other possibilities. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, someone is about to make a choice. One, You or this person. You may even have a couple people uh, manifesting you. Uh, or you're manifesting a couple or the person you're interested in is. Uh, but this is someone who's looking for happiness, emotional fulfillment. It's putting all the cups out on the table. Okay, somebody very logical, but also very uh, driven, very dedicated, as well as that King of Rods. But the way the King of Rods is praised, someone's not clear about what they want. Somebody kind of wants what they want, but it's keeping them stuck because they have something they need to learn. There's a transition to do with healing, okay? So tell me about this night of... Yeah, so there's definitely somebody who's rushing in and out between people, dating a few people, someone who's not sure, maybe juggling it, may have been exposed, okay? But I feel like it's more like an energy of knowing what you want, offering that cup of love. Expre this is about expressing, illuminating everything, uh, starting something, because you have all the tools you need to manifest what you want. Uh, you could be the one who knows what you want with this emperor energy. You're not giving up. Maybe this is who you want, this Aries Leo Sag. Uh, this is where you want things to go in your favor, but there's a need for emotional fulfillment, happiness, all the cups on the table. I see seven cups here. Um, someone sees the possibilities. You could be the one or vice versa, but could be somebody who's also dating other people. Someone who has a lot of, uh, could be friends with benefits, options. There's something in a community, maybe some kind of gossip, talk. Let's see, it could be friends and family, again, just reminding you to make sure you know what you want, that you everything is exposed, you, you know, don't go out with somebody who's juggling, protect yourself, uh, hold back, love yourself first, value yourself. Uh, so you very well may be doing that. You may be and protecting your money in the process. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, so we have purging and releasing and letting go of something. Somebody is letting go of something. It's a healing energy. Look at that right here. Moving away from this, letting it go. Old relationship baggage, giving up all their options. Uh, letting go of this rushing in and out of out of relationships, maybe just a lot of dating. Maybe you haven't found the one or this person hasn't, but I feel there's a need to release something. This is that wish come true. Uh, someone is, this is the star. This is about reaching for the stars, reaching for your hopes and dreams. Uh, maybe losing enthusiasm to do with the healing, but I feel like it's more positive than it is negative. So I feel like it's just sort of this transition in someone's mind, whether it be yourself, the other person, or even both of you. I definitely see Aquarius and Gemini energy magician. Yeah, so we have someone here who's having a little bit of regrets, 
Uh, somebody wasn't somebody was trying to manifest something maybe there was a little bit of manipulation uh, there's some kind of regret someone was focused on something negative not the positive not that soulmate connection right that's that moving uh, moving forward talking communicating taking the time to get to know somebody uh, there's a need to move away to avoid a disaster uh, to heal a situation so Someone may have moved on and moved away to avoid a disaster, to go heal a situation of something they were holding on to. So if you meet somebody uh, and this starts to happen or you find yourself going through it, make sure you turn around and look at these two cups, that soulmate connection. Uh, that's two people here. Somebody wasn't paying attention, okay, and there's some regrets or it's just a little bit of a cup half full. And sort of be careful what you manifest at the same time. Uh, there's a need to heal something manifesting what you want someone may have felt someone was out of their league or they weren't good enough or it's about letting go of that energy too it's about letting go of being stuck stubborn uh, whether it's you or the other person yeah we've got a person waiting here someone's looking out there they're starting to look at other possibilities becoming kind of bored uh, waiting for something to release uh, you know this is waiting for the one holding all out for the one that special person Oh, that star, reaching for that star, the hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah, I feel as though you're getting bored waiting or somebody else is getting bored waiting with you or maybe you're just thinking about that. Uh, maybe you feel like you need to kind of um, go, you're going through some kind of transition. You or this other person. I see a Gemini, Gemini, Taurus, cusp, possibly, or just a Gemini, Virgo, magician. It's communication. That's, uh, yeah, someone might have been a little bit manipulative. Maybe you're turning your back on somebody here, or you're weighing the pros and the cons, or you're unable to make a decision because someone manipulated. You may have, could be yourself as Queen of, of Wands, standing up to somebody, you know, putting up strong boundaries, uh, you know, ending a cycle because you want to be emotionally fulfilled. You may have be seeking out other options and healing as you're purging, just kind of waiting. Interesting energy. Yeah, gaining that strength and that confidence, taming the beast, <laughs> learning to be patient. Maybe there's a need to just learn to be patient. A little Leo energy, taming the beast within. Tell me about love. Why is this here? Yeah, see, there's an energy. There's someone who's uh, rushing in and out of situations. This is someone who's starting to feel a little bit stronger, a little more confident, a little more enthusiastic. I feel there was some enthusiasm. Somebody lost enthusiasm. They kind of got bored. Maybe you have a lot of options. You've been dating a lot. You're bored of them all. Uh, maybe you're releasing them all. There's a lot of baggage possibly here could be from past situations. It's hard to say with this energy, but there's a need to gain some strength and confidence to be brave. Um, when it comes to love, a choice of love, and be, there's definitely some enthusiasm. Someone may be releasing somebody and no longer waiting because they're gaining the strength and the confidence to move away um, towards someone else as well. But I feel it could be you or them. You're, you know who you are and how you feel. Tell me about this magician energy. Oops. All right. Tell me about this magician energy. There we go. Yeah, so there is definitely uh, end of a burden, responsibility. Somebody's feeling burdened by a situation, uh, being weighed down. But someone's also a manifest or someone works a lot. They have a lot of responsibilities. This is about a partner, someone who pulls their weight. It's about manifesting uh, someone who pulls their fair share of the weight in a relationship. Yeah, it's about manifesting the one here. You may be waiting, you know, purging or releasing something while you're kind of waiting to find that person. Uh, that's about going off on a new path. Yeah, there's a strong connection here you may have. That's about two people who build each other up um, through strength, through confidence, by being brave, by letting go of something to go down that path. It's about compatibility. Uh, two people who have things in common. So you may have something in common with someone here, uh, but it's about this path towards the golden palace, towards this, a committed relationship. 
Yeah, it's a crossroads. Which way to go? You may have a choice between a couple people. Uh, or you have someone you're interested in, they may have a choice between two. But I feel like there's a sense of enthusiasm been lost. Somebody is bored of all their options. Uh, somebody has got a lot of people coming towards them, looking for attention, uh, and bored of them. Yeah, something's tired of going out, tired of maybe dating sites, the dating pool. There may be some people talking here about this rushing in and out, just release it, let go. Uh, and move on, choose another path. This is uh, somebody on the fence here choosing that path in life. Which way to go? So, wow. You may have somebody who's wanting to approach you. Uh, maybe they're waiting for the right time because I see this investment about investing. This is also, you know, you see this card as someone who's chasing money. Now, this could be yourself focusing on your money, manifesting it, you know. Uh, you have a lot of respons financial responsibilities or you have somebody who is chasing you or you feel like you are. But there's that stability, safety, security, gossip, talk, something in the community. Um, two people who have each other's back that travel in the same social circle. Uh, really could be a lot here. Tell me about this path. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so there's a need to release something and let go. Someone needs to get out of their head. Uh, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So you and your person, someone's looking into the future. They're clearing their head. Uh, they're releasing and healing and purging something. Uh, and now ready to look into the future. Someone who's financially stable as well. Someone who likes to make plans, very practical, very grounded, very focused on their finances. Someone's holding back, uh, healing. Maybe you're waiting for this person to heal or vice versa. But this is about someone, you know, holding back, taking a break, uh, looking into the future here, making plans. Yeah, definitely someone here doesn't see somebody in their future whether it's yourself or someone or this is you you know like i say take it as it resonates because we have the king and queen of pentacles you could be either person uh, but i feel as though what we have is someone who's not seeing a future with someone because there's something that needs to heal something that needs to be released it's kind of negative um Okay, because someone was focused on something, so there it's hard to see the future. But because if things are healed and purged, there's this value. Someone needs to learn to love themselves first. Uh, there's this looking into the future, making plans, practical, grounded, sensible. Queen of Pentacles is someone who likes to you know be prepared financially. Someone who likes to have things in the freezer. Somebody who likes to take care of the house, the home, but focus. The main focus is the finances, that stability. Uh, I feel like we have two people who are focused on the same things. Tell me about this 10, and we will wrap this up. 10 of Pentacles energy for Virgo. Why is this here? Yeah, secrets. Somebody may be keeping secret. There may be uh, to do with their financial stability. Someone knows everything they need to know. A little Pisces energy going within. Friends, family, social media. So someone is going within, though, seeking answers within themselves. This is someone who knows everything they need to know. Someone's keeping secrets here. Maybe you're keeping secrets or somebody else is keeping secrets about their financial stability. Uh, we do have a, uh, the magician energy. We also have the emperor down here. Someone already knows. There's a secret here, I feel. Uh, it's about investing, about this Ace of Cup, this fresh new start. Yeah, two people uh, coming together, investing in each other, waiting patiently for that uh, soulmate connection. But I feel there's two soulmates. Uh, there's this Ace of Cups. It's like you both want this, but something needs to be exposed. A decision needs to be made. Uh, someone may have been actually juggling. It may have been exposed. Someone may have been keeping secrets about their financial stability or that they're already in a relationship for some. But I feel there's something to do with burdens and responsibility uh, about this manifesting. Definitely Virgo money. Yeah, so there's definitely uh, some kind of emotional uh, energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Someone is 
uh, manifesting love, ready to offer that cup to express themselves. Someone maybe has some regrets for not, but it's, it's about to start. You may have a new person coming towards you, or you could be that person. But I feel that it's about this future. There's things that need to be cleared up. Okay, this is about making plans for the future of stability, financial stability. Two people who are comfortable. I think what we have is a couple soulmates. Uh, two people who uh, like to be comfort comfortable. They like the creature comforts of home. A couple of home bodies. Interesting. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. It's guiding me up there. Yeah, it's about putting something behind, uh, something that's a lot of work, looking back at all this hard work, uh, feeling stuck, holding on to something that needs to be let go to move towards something more uh, successful, feeling... Uh, healing family situation but i feel this is a very positive transition all right virgo let's see where this goes it looks like your person or yourself are ready to express to manifest that love by expression and somebody who is a little cautious though <laughs> we also have an energy of somebody who knows exactly what they want uh, with very strong boundaries but I feel like it could go in your favor or it's somebody who wants things to go in their favor and not afraid to go after what they want it very well could be yourself or if you don't get what you want you're not going to see a future with someone because there's a, this healing this clearing of negative energy this kind of holding back maybe sleep on it before you make a decision right hmm Well, keeping an open mind, communicating openly. Somebody needs to be more open, possibly as well. But I feel it's just someone looking for answers. Yeah, there's something here that needs to be released. Uh, someone was holding on to something. They didn't uh, communicate something clearly or they were unsure. Uh, but there was definitely a lot of flirt, a lot of, a lot of flirty, passionate communication or something like that, that energy of someone who knows what they want, but someone doesn't know what they want because they need to let go of something. It's a willing release. This is someone who needs to willingly let go. <laughs> Some of you may be letting go of someone like that you've been holding on to. Uh, you're moving on and transitioning towards another person. Somebody more like yourself. And we have the royal you. Yeah, someone who wants what they want, right? Yeah, somebody, uh, I do see some Leo energy or Sag energy. Yeah, there's something about this great big love. This is someone figuring out what they want here, who they love, going after it, the royal you. It's sort of an empress kind of energy. I kind of see it that way. But it's also about loving yourself first, knowing what you want and going after it. Okay, or the person. So yeah, there is a burst of magic. This is that manifesting energy. It's a bit burst of enthusiasm to let go of something that you're holding on to or someone is, re you know, releasing this stuck energy, putting it behind and moving forward to something much better. Uh, by making peace with the past, I feel, whether it's family, whether it's uh, uh, friends, you know, people in your family circle, really could be anything. And then there's this world. Yeah, it's time for change. Something is evolving and changing. Uh, there's some kind of change of pattern. Uh, it, it really feels positive, whatever it is. This could happen fast. Like It's not necessarily something that uh, takes forever. But I do feel a sea of stuck energy. Someone protecting themselves. Someone loving themselves first. They're kind of holding back because there's something that needs all this hard work in the past. It's almost over. Something is almost over. It's almost complete here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about listening, ears wide open. This is about listening, it's about communication. Two people talking and communicating, manifesting each other, but it's definitely about listening. Take that as it resonates. It really could go in a lot of different ways may have been some gossip maybe somebody was listening to gossip uh, friends and family too much who knows but it all has a little bit of a negativity someone may be regretting doing that uh, but we have this open to discovery yeah someone's listening uh, i feel like someone's being very smart it's about birds of a feather flock together yeah being open uh, to communication 
uh, to plan the future, to talk, uh, to communicate in a very grounded, practical way. It's about safety, security, and stability between two people, two people who are financially oriented, uh, hardworking, entrepreneur. So there is definitely something in common. Maybe that's what you're concerned about or your person is. Uh, but there's definitely that King of Cups energy, that manifesting love uh, with a little bit of caution. <laughs> yeah, it's also about healing the heart, you see. Somebody is healing and releasing, uh, letting go, ready to start something new. So it looks like there, it's already been healed, whatever it is, or it's letting go. Someone could be moving away from friends and family as well, leaving... Um, situations behind that don't serve there's some kind of need for change with something evolving it's about feelings somebody's feelings may even be changing someone may be worried someone's feelings are changing uh, through this healing process hard to say but i see communication with birds of a feather flock together uh, about being open to something here open to discover more about each other through communication so i wish you the best take care and we'll see you soon